Hi there, Michelle with Crafty Servings. We're going to use a Dollar Tree kneeler tonight. Make it a little bit rustic and I think with items you might already have. Do you know this foam? We're going to use that and we're going to make, just have a little fun with it. So come on and say hi. Hello, Ruthie, again. Right? You were on earlier, I think. So again, Dollar Tree kneeler. It has that cool pattern on it, and we're going to pick that up with a little bit of paint. So we're going to go ahead and get started, because this is going to be take a little bit. Hi, Anna. Hi, Kim. Kim, how are you doing? All right, so I'm just going to use some of this Waverly plaster acrylic paint. It's the plaster color. And I'm just using a chippy brush. Any brush will do. We just want to brush some of that on to get some of the color up. I don't want to cover it completely because I like some of that gray in there. And it'll just make it look a little bit old. Not really old, I don't know, a little bit farmhousey or rustic. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Hello, Sharon. Hi, Julie. I'm doing good. How are you? Hello, Peggy. So, okay, we're going to use this plaster. And I'm going to wipe some of it on this paper towel just because I don't want big globs of it. And watch what happens. That's the look I want to get. So it doesn't need much. Just want to get some of that color on there. It's so easy. Thank you for passing me on, Kathy. I appreciate it. So some of this is Dollar Tree. Besides this, I think you can get this foam at Dollar Tree. We're going to be using um, some of the Dollar Tree rope. So I'm going to count this as mostly Dollar Tree, but with a few other things. Oh no, Cindy, you need therapy for me. Well, I was on earlier today. I was on earlier today. Where were you? But I appreciate that, that's really sweet. Hello, Anna. Anne, Aunt, not Anna. Again, my glasses need to be updated big time. Isn't that cute? What a cute background surface. As soon as I saw it, I had to get some. And Mr. Crafty Servants, they're like, what vision do you have now? <laughs> so, I just like the surface. Okay. is that cute? So that's our background. Very easy. Hiding from the world. <gasps> Don't do that. All right, we're going to get this out of the way. So that's all the painting we have to do tonight. Thank you for passing me on, Gloria. I appreciate it. Hello, LaBrisca, my friend. Eclectic Treasures. Um, check her out. Drop your link. LaBrisca, anybody else out there crafting, please go ahead and drop your link. So there we go. Dollar Tree Kneeler. We just painted that up and just the coolest surface. Now we're going to make some flowers out of foam and like different different types of them so i was playing with them today and some are out on pinterest um of course you always got some of that we're gonna do like multiple different kinds so i think the first one so this will be our leaves and i've got a few templates here for, um just for size wise that i'm thinking this is going to be a popular size for me tonight so first one i'm going to do and I'm going to need to cut a bunch of these, so I'm just going to do this while we're talking. 
You got your package, all right, Gloria. Did you like them? Hello, artists. So easiest way is to just cut. So these look like, like little leaves. Some of them are gonna be having this side out. Some of them, this side is gonna be out. So we're just gonna cut a whole bunch of these in different colors. Let's see, this one I think we're going to, um, let me just picture. I think this one we're going to do four. We're going to do four of this color. Is that we'll probably go back and make more as we go. Hi, Terry. How are you? So just draw a pattern on a piece of paper. And for me, it was easy that I have this foam that we just, it's almost like a template. So you just lay it on and cut it out. They don't have to be perfect. So, okay, we have four of that one. Now I'm gonna use, I've got some black. See, I wish I had more colors. I don't have, I have a bunch of colors on the table, but I wish I had more of these neutral colors, so I have to be a little stingy with them. All right, so now I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and wider. So, and I'm actually going to, this is going to be the top. Make it look a little bit funny almost like a heart and I just added that little bit on top so we're going to do um, three of these hi Becky you have one of these foam things in your closet I mean you can get them anywhere you can get them at walmart i think they have them at the dollar tree um they or are you talking the kneeler are you talking the kneeler well if you're talking the kneeler here you go all right so i'm doing three of these for this flower all right so we got three of them and we're gonna use those on top, if you can see that. And then I need a middle to it, so I've got one of these wood discs. We're just gonna use that um, as a template. So you can just use what you have. If you need bigger, adjust from that. When do you make the swag behind you? I made that on Monday, I'd like to say. I think I made, I made that on Monday on a live. So it's really cute. It's with chickens. It's, it's adorable. I like the colors. Even if you don't like chickens, those colors all work together. You can make it any season, any holiday. Um, it's just got all different layers in it. So yeah, check that out. It was on Monday. So, all right, and I'm gonna cut this one in half because half of it's gonna be for that. We're gonna use half for another one. I think we'll be good with that. Okay, so we've got that one cut out. Then we're going to do, let's try doing, we're gonna do some of these. Um, let's do, we're going to, I'm just trying to picture. We're gonna do some of these, um, Again, this, this one size is going to make a lot. Um, we're gonna do, let's see, so on this one I'll need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Um, yeah. Thank you. I love how this wig turned out, I really do. Um, and I don't think you can see in the corner back over over my shoulder here that magnetic banner I made today on a live. Um, 
It's a crazy chicken stencil. It's actually really, really cute. Um, we did that on a live today. So I figured it was chicken and that's chicken back there. The swag will end up going in my Etsy shop. I just want to put it back there for a little bit of color for a little bit. Did you get that chicken fabric recently? I did. It is from, and I was trying to debate on the live. Was it Hobby Lobby or was it Joann's? It was Joann's because I remember picking up, I think the, the hardest one. So um, I actually, I think I... I don't remember if I did a live from there. I maybe didn't, but I showed the fabrics after. And um, the chicken fabric was my inspiration. And, you know, I use that a lot. If you've been following me, I use fabric so much for inspiration. And so I, that's the fabric I saw that I loved. The, even, the chickens were just adorable on there, but just the colors are colors that I love. Um, so it was easy for me to do that, but then to pull fabrics that would match with that. Um, the hardest one I had, I ended up doing getting in a fat quarter. And so that was the maroon one, and that's the longer pendant that's on it. So there's different size pendants on it, and they're sort of um, together. They're, they're not all separate pendants. We sort of melded them together. So where most of them you have the triangles and there's the straight triangles all the way across. This one is, it's got different layers. Thank you, Carla, for passing me on. I appreciate it. All right, how many days do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, six. I need one more of these. See, these are all for different ones and they're going to each look a little bit different. So we're making flowers. Each one's going to look a little different and fun and we're going to put them together on that kneeler from the Dollar Tree. All right so that's seven of them. Now we're going to do um, oh and we need one of these for that. So those are the two like that. We're going to use I think we're going to use this color now. Let's see. I'm just trying to see what I think will look good on there. Let's do, um, you know what? We're going to need multiple colors. So we're going to do, we're going to do, let's see, I need 10 of these for another flower. And they cut out fast. You love the colors too, Mary? Yeah, I really, really like how those colors turned out. And like I said, it'll end up in my Etsy shop for somebody who loves chickens. It'll be perfect for them. But you can't tell they're actually chickens right now, can you? So it works good. All right, we're going to do 10 of these. And then we're going to do some smaller ones. What are you making? I am making, so this was a Dollar Tree. I painted this up right at the beginning. Dollar Tree kneeler. We're going to make like a wall hanging or it can be a shelf sitter. Um, we're making foam flowers uh, is what I'm cutting out for right now. Different, different kinds. Um, each one is going to look a little bit different. A um, little bit different technique on them to put them together. So I think the pretty cute on there. We got some Dollar Tree, um, some of that roping that we're going to use. Got some buttons, some burlap, just fun sort of rustic kind of things to put together on there. Hi Lynn. So y'all doing good? Did you have a good day? Tomorrow is Friday. Excited. Almost the weekend. Weekends are always good for me. <laughs> if it, it wouldn't be if you had to work, right? I understand that. 
So this really honestly doesn't even take much of these um, foam. You And you know what? If you don't have foam and you don't want to go shopping for foam, do it with cardstock. You make really, really cute flowers with cardstock too. So you don't necessarily need this foam. But I am going to do a little something with the foam that you won't be able to do with cardstock. So we'll see with on one of them, one or two of them. All right, help me. I need 10 of these. Two, four, six, seven, three more of these. Are you making and hello hello Rhonda I am making a shelf sitter or it could be a wall hanging out of a Dollar Tree kneeler the kind that you kneel on you know when you do your gardening if you have a garden you could probably use it for other things too but I saw it at Dollar Tree and I, oh, I got a Got to get it. I love the texture of it. So we painted that up right at the beginning. We're going to use that. Busy day. I had a three-year-old great-granddaughter and a six-month-old. Oh, my gosh. That sounds busy, but it sounds awesome. I love having my grandkids. Um, okay, so I have a post going out tomorrow morning. As long as I'm cutting this, I might as well tell you about it. Um, some of you I know are already in my monthly crafting club with Magnolia. So um, for April, now the April kit is amazing again, and I have a feeling it's going to sell out. So if you're not on that monthly crafting list, you know you want to buy quick. But look at the look at the stencil and the towels that you get. Can you see that? And then you get the towels that you can stencil on and you get the ink and you get the squeegee. So that's coming out first thing tomorrow. I don't know if it's like at midnight they posted or what, but for this month, what I'm doing as a thank you is, um, two, I'm just counting two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. As a thank you, I'm putting everybody who is in the crafting club now or joining in April, I'm going to put in a drawing for a $25 Magnolia gift card. So, and I can see who, who joins. So it's not like you have to message me or anything like that, but um, I just appreciate y'all joining the club. It is, it's $19.99 a month plus a $5 flat rate shipping. And there is a commitment of three months. You can cancel anytime after three. So I just, that post is going to be posted tomorrow morning with that. Um, and it's just sort of as a thank you for um, signing up under me. And we'll draw a name at the end, or at, well, at the beginning of May. Because you can sign up for this kit as long as it's in stock, which I don't know, it's going to go quick, I think. Um, but as long as it's in stock you can sign up for it. So those that are already in the club, don't have to worry, they save enough for everybody. When I notice you do rustic, I am country rustic. Awesome, Rhonda. Yep, you know me, I love that country rustic. Always. I will do others, I shock you once in a while when I when I do others, right? Um, where I pull out something bright Oh, I wish so too, Anne. Hopefully they'll get it to Canada soon. Um, I know they had been working on it though. I, I know they had before COVID and that sort of, that put a kibosh on, on that at that time. So I don't know what's happening with it at this point, but yeah, hopefully they will. If you're already a creator, do you get your discount? Um, they changed that. Um, at first when the craft club came out and if you signed up for the craft club yourself as a creator, you and you sign up under you, you actually did not get the discount, but then you got paid commission on it. So it sort of was the same thing. Now they changed it where 
you get the discount now and you don't get the commission so they they just changed it it's um, you actually get a little better deal now being a creator because you get a 35% discount versus um, the commission two four six seven so anybody interested in Magnolia I'm always looking for team members it's you know it's it's fun even just just enhance your crafting so message me if you have questions you want that Rhonda <laughs> all right let's see if I got enough two four six eight we need two more of these Oh, you want this hat? Isn't it cute? I got it at a little boutique in a city right near me. You're welcome, Susie. All right, one more. And then we'll be, so we got three flowers, and then there's one more flower we're going to do. That one's easy to cut out, too. That one's not as much as this. Once we start putting these flowers together, though, they don't take long. Okay, so we got 10 of them. So that's three flowers. Ooh, we got mass. Get some of this out of here. Okay, so the last one um, we're doing a circles. So the first circle I want to make a little bigger than this cover. It's just what I had. I'm just looking if I have something else. So I'm going to make it a little bigger than this cover. Just trying to eyeball a circle. Actually, I planned on doing this in black. We'll probably cut this one down a little. Okay, let's get a blackout. So someone copied me today. She was using buttons. <laughs> Kim, that's funny. I think my button grew on people, my buttons. So I mean some people had used buttons all the while, but there's more people using buttons and um, yeah, and some people say too, when they see buttons, they think of me. So I actually, I was at a, um, estate sale this last weekend. One of my team members on Magnolia is, um, has, has that business. And I saw that it was happening near where my mom is. So I thought I would stop and surprise her. Well, of course, I have bags of buttons that I had to get. All right, so this one I'm going to cut just a, I'm going to cut this one a little smaller. See, I'm going to just see, I've got one here. Yeah, I'm going to cut it smaller. The neutral colors, the bright through you for a minute. The bright colors through you for a minute. Yeah, and, um, this would be really cute with bright colors though too. You just change up the color of that kneeler pad that we painted at the beginning. So you certainly could do this in bright colors. You can do this on any surface. And again, these don't have to be perfect. All right, we're going to do another circle. I think I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than this. Let's start with that. Let's see. A circle here. This will be the smallest one. Let's just, we're going to do another circle like this and then um, I'll just cut it down a little bit. Just because I didn't have planned here what all my different sizes. Like I said, once we start putting this together, then it's going to go pretty quick. It's just this initial cutting out. All right, so we got that one. Let's do this a little bit smaller. I shall fold it in half. Then we know we're going to still get a circle. Kick 
that one and then we're going to cut out one just a little bit smaller yet and then I think oh, then we just have to cut some leaves so there's not many of them and we're, I've got the bright green we're going to tone that down all right so that's that foam let's get some of these leaves we're going to cut a few of these leaves out this is my template for the leaves and i think it looks like each one i think is going to be a little bit cute different a little different technique for them um i think we'll do uh, we'll do four leaves just to I know you're supposed to do things in odd numbers and I'm trying to think if I'm going to actually though I might end up with four flowers so we'll see so it may not be technically correct we'll see what we what we put together if nothing else we'll throw one other little flower together all right Okay, that's four leaves. I think we're done with those. Pretty sure. Now for this one, I am going to fold it in half and I want to make petals. So I'm, I'm going to cut it down a little bit like in half like that but I don't want it to go all the way through and we're gonna do this opposite way too and just so that it goes like about up to there and and we're going to I can eyeball now the center it's hard to see with this black I know that you'll see with the other one okay so I've got I cut it in half and then quarter so or actually yeah quarter on each side so eighths and then I'm going to just round up these edges to make them look we're gonna have so many little pieces laying here Let's see and it's not going to be perfect you just round up each edge Just make it easy if you don't want to round it or if you want um, like daisy like you can make it more of a point All right, that one these things get static electricity too that are crazy all right we're gonna do the same thing cut it almost all the way So then we just leave. You can see that a little better on there. And then I'm gonna cut that in. And then again, cut these corners rounded. Most of these, we don't have any cutting to do. It's gonna be gluing. So um, just a little bit on some of them. It'll go pretty quick. that and you will see those space the the cuts because what we're going to do is heat it up and it's going to make those cuts more prevalent in there so um, that's why I'm doing the cuts you're gonna you're gonna see the petals you're gonna see all the different petals so one of these and there's so many different ways you can make flowers but like I said you can certainly do this also with um, scrap of paper or cardstock so that would be so cute with that also leave them on late on a Thursday night I guess it's not that late but 
Gotta go to work early in the morning. All right, that one. And this one, I think I'm just going to let's see if he's they, static. Um, this one I'm going to do just a little different. I'm just going to cut them almost a point so it looks a little different in the center. And I'll show you just a second. Don't have to be careful unless you're really afraid. But okay, so that one I just cut in in um, in points. Okay, so we got this one. That one's all set. All our little snivels here. Now on these, what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna stain them up a little bit because. They're just really, really bright. We want them a little bit darker, so I'm just going to use a little of that Waverly paste or the Waverly wax. We're just going to stain them a little bit. Oh, these petals. And then the leaves will be ready. So. Thanks, Kathy. Wait till you see it put together. So each one is going to be a little bit different. So we do have to do a little trimming on some. So I'm just going to dip this in here. Um, actually, and dab a little on there first. We're just going to wipe that on the leaf. And you'll see it just is going to darken that leaf up a little bit. That matches more versus the, the real light. It's, we're just darkening it up a little bit. And it doesn't take much at all. And I'm using a baby, uh, baby wipe. It just makes it spread good. Right, one more. You don't have to do the back, even though it keeps peeling up there. All right. Done with that. Okay, so we got the leaves done. We got that one done. All right, this one we're just going to, so this one, the point you're not going to see, it's, this is the outside edge. So I'm just going to do a little bit of trimming on there just to look like the outside petal. So that's on this flat edge. That one's ready. And then also for this center, I'm just going to do little ridges. Just cut out little tiny triangles. I'll hold it up on there so you can see. And that's all you're doing with that. Okay, so for this one, um, we're going to do more, um, I just want to see what my different are. This one we're going to do more, more of a point, I think. So just make it your own. Just do what you think will look cute and it'll, it'll work. It just works good starting with that one template and then just trimming them down. Okay, that's that one, but let's see. I thought I had a black center for it. There it is. We're gonna do the same 
Yeah, that darkened dark and green definitely works for this. If you're doing brighter colors though, you could do this as a sunflower. That would be really cute. I have the bright yellow. That would have been really cute and with those bright leaves. All right, so I just again just trimmed up the edge of that so you can see that. All right, I think we're ready to start assembling them. And then we'll put them together on that board. So, all right, um, with the leaves though, what I'm gonna do, I'll do that right away too. Because we'll do this maybe on some of the petals too. I have these styluses, you could use like a, um, a toothpick, maybe, like a, um, maybe the edge of a scissor, that something that's not gonna cut all these little snivels. As soon as I start using the dryer, it's going to blow. All right, and all I'm going to do is, I need a little smaller one. So yeah, maybe even a toothpick or something like that. So all I'm going to do is press down on here and I'll show you. See how it's making the indentation in there? And we're just gonna make it like a leaf. Just draw out. I'm gonna do that on each one of these. You don't have to be picky how you do it. It usually starts a little larger and then each one gets smaller. And you can do that on the petals too, but I'll probably do that after we put it together where we'll add just a few lines in each one. But look how quick this part goes. You're just almost doing like a V. Okay, there's the leaves. All right, I think we're gonna start putting together. All right, so this is the first one. So what I'm gonna use is, because this gets really hot and I don't wanna have it down on a plastic tablecloth, I'm gonna hold it with a tweezer and I'll show you. So you can use a hair dryer. You just, the hair dryer that I have blows everything around and I don't want that. I'm just gonna heat this up a little bit. And you'll see when it starts curling a little, it'll be done. You don't want it too long because it will. So it gets soft. Um, we have to do a little longer. Um, you don't want it to melt. It, it will melt. My tablecloth is going to be bad. <laughs> That's all right, it's stained. Okay, you can see that it's getting soft and starting to come up, and that's where you're gonna see your petals. So we'll do that one. And because it's so hot, that's why I hold it with this. Yeah, it makes it look more 3D. So you see it gets real floppy. Um, then, then it's done, it's cooked and we're gonna be putting them together. And you could put a lot of layers and end up making a really full flower. Certainly do that too. If you have a table that can withstand the heat, you could honestly just hold a scissor or something down um, to make this work too. You see when it starts getting real floppy like that, that means it's pretty cooked. We'll do a little, little longer. This one. That one actually has to be a little longer yet. Yeah, it really didn't. Also, I'm going to smell it. <laughs> there we go. And we got this one. Hi, Dee. I know you haven't caught me for a while. How are you? Oh, sinus infection. Well, I hope you're doing better. No. 
Oh, that's, that's nasty. I know it doesn't make you feel good at all when you have them. All right, ouch. So this gets hot too, so be careful. All right, just going to piece that in there, piece of sand. And that's going to be, we're going to glue that together. Let's go ahead and do that right away. Just put a dab of glue. I'm just using the regular Gorilla Hot Glue. Um, you could use low temp so that it doesn't melt more, but I'm already melting it some by doing the hair dryer. Okay, this is one and you could honestly heat it a little bit longer and really cup it together or you could add more layers and um, you could let me just show you this one this one honestly this the way I had this one cut too you could almost make it like into a rose just do even more isn't that really cute that one's really pretty I like that one better than this one let's just try heating this one a little more It's just craft foam. Yep, that's all it is. We're going to use this one. I like that one better. <laughs> but this is honestly really cute too. I mean, it's, it's very cute. You just figure out what you like. But this one I think I took more of my time and did. Okay, so we got that one. All right. Next one, this one is all gluing. So we've got the larger ones and we have the smaller ones. And the center for this one is going to be the flat side. And we're going to just put a little bit of glue. You don't need a lot. Put this one in the center. And then we're going to fold it up so it's going to look like that. So I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put all these centers on first. Okay, you don't need a lot of glue. Just a little will do. I wonder a button in the middle. Absolutely, there's going to be buttons in the middle of these. You know that. That'll be the final trim. Okay, this one actually got some on the outside, so I'm going to go ahead right away and fold this one. Because when you fold it, you have to hold it for a minute. Okay, and then it'll just be pinched like that. This one's going to be really pretty. I, I think this will be my favorite. I don't know. This and the other two will be like cornflowers. Oops. Shifted. You're going to get glue on you. Um, so again, if you want to use the low temp, go ahead and use low temp. Go ahead and pinch this right away. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, I love this. And don't worry about the glue that's coming out on it. You're not going to see it because this one will have a button on it. So, and you're going to need, like for this size, you would need 10 of them. We'll go ahead and Pinch these together. And then I usually, there's the glue that comes up on the top like that. I don't know if you can see that. After it's a little cool, you can just pick that off. Of course there's buttons, Diane. The other ones don't deal with pinching, so they won't take as long either.
And you see they're going to go together. Um, honestly, we only need this part. We only actually need five of that one. We don't need all ten of them. We actually need five. Now that I think about it. Wait till you see these all put together. I'm anxious. I think they'll be pretty. And then when we put them together on that board, it'll be just really cute. Yeah, they do look like bunny ears. That'd be really cute. Oh, I have some little wooden eggs. Wouldn't they look cute on the little wooden eggs? so much glue on me all right now these five I'm going to pinch together but we don't need a middle because you won't see the middle I'll just do several of them Oh yeah, you can make earrings this way. I think I actually did. I, I think I actually did do that. All right. That one. I'm multitasking now doing two at one time. Next project, the bunny, would that, yeah, I, like I said, I have wood, um, wood eggs here. I, that would be cute on there, wouldn't it? Maybe that will be a next project. All right, so, last one, and then we're going to put this together. We're making flowers out of these and we started and we're going to decorate up on this. This was a Dollar Tree kneeler and they're going to end up going on here. All right. And with some Dollar Tree rope and, you know, just put it together like a little flower. Okay. So these, what you're going to do is you're going to go opposite. So this would be the top. Then this one, you're going to face downwards. So we're going to just do opposite on each one. This uses such little bit of glue too. Um, when I was playing with this before, this is the same glue stick. <laughs> just such a little dab that you need. Okay, next one is going to go up again. And if I figured it out right, we should use 10 of these. Hello, Diane. Oh, you're saying hi to someone else that you have extra now so you could put them on the eggs. Yeah, right? All right, next one is down. I said this certainly would be the cutest also with scrapbook paper or um, cardstock. It would be. Look at how cute that is, putting that together. Very, very cute. Next one's going to go up. And the last two we do are going to look a little bit like corn flowers. Okay, see how we're just doing opposite? And don't worry, you're not going to see that middle. There's a button going in there. But like I said, if I figured this out right, this is going to 
come together with just the 10 of them. What color are you asking? What color button? The buttons I'm using are all from my normal jar. Okay, I think I'm going to put these two together right away. So, because otherwise it'll be hard to fit the glue gun in between to close it back up. Okay, so we're going to put that together. That side of that's coming apart. Your fingers are going to get full of glue. I can tell you that, but be careful. So use low temp. I'm using high temp, but. I'm trying to be a little careful. Dan, thank you so much for the stars. I appreciate it. All right. Let's get the button out for this one so that we can cover up. You see a lot of glue on there, but we're going to get, this is going to have a cute button on it. We're going to put a darker button on it, I think. No, actually, we're going to put this light color button on there. That can be cute on there. We'll just put a little bit of glue. Look how cute that one is. Should we put a little button in the middle of the other one? Okay, we need a little one. These are all bigger buttons. Normally I have the little ones left. That must be my other jar. There's one. Thanks for the hearts. I love that one. I'm just going to drop this button. This is a cute button. You see this one in there. Look at that one. Can you see the little dots on there? The little dashes. All right, so there's two of them. Now we got two more to do here. And they're both done similar now. All right. So we're going to take, so we have three larger and we have uh, four smaller. And this is going to be the outside now, where on the other one the point was. And this is just going to lay in here like this. They're going to look something like cornflowers. Okay. That's can you can, oh, can you see that? What if I lift that up like that? That's what we're doing. And then this is going to go on top of that. So, we're going to glue that right away. Just put a little bit on here. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Carla and Ann. All right, so let's do this one. We'll glue that on. I said this would be really, really cute with the bright yellow also. I do have bright yellow foam also. It'd be very cute with that. Okay, and then these two are going to go out to the sides and it's just going to look like a half a flower and we're going to put the little topper on it. Let's 
see that. And I'll put the topper on and then we're going to heat this up. Just need a little bit of glue on here. And when you heat it up, that glue will melt a little too, so you don't want too much. And we're going to heat this one up. Yep, we needed the buttons, right? Okay, we're just going to heat this up to get them to melt a little bit. And then that way the petals will start coming up and you'll see that. See how they're starting to come up? That's all you need to do. Look how cute that is now. All right, so there's that one. We're going to do the same with this one, but it'll look a little different because you got the pointy tips. We're going to start the same. We're going to do three on the bottom. Do you like that one? Yeah, I like that one. And then we're going to... So this one is being done the same exact way. I'm just lifting it so it doesn't stick so hard onto my tablecloth there. Now, my glue gun is not staying as hot as it normally should just because I keep taking it out. It's what, a rechargeable. Okay. Don't give on me now. There we go. Or not rechargeable, but cordless. So, um, I just don't want it to, or it's not getting as hot as it needs to in between. Thank you for passing me on. Yeah. You've been waiting for me to glue it to the tablecloth? <laughs> I've already stained my tablecloth tonight, so I might as well glue on it, right? And there's enough on there. But that's why I had to lift it up. Been there, done that. <laughs> I did it on my kitchen table. All right, and this one is going to go on here. And I just really cute too. Let's start putting together. Again, watch when they start flopping is when when they're cooked. Otherwise, you'll end up melting and you'll, you'll end up burning them. You have to start again. See how they're flopping? I'll do these outside ones a little bit. And this gets hot too, so be careful. Look at it cute that is so it does it melts it a little bit hope you got it off your kitchen table um no not yet <laughs> not yet it's still there all right so let's put this together so these are the flowers then we have that one this one 
this one, and this one. This is what we painted up earlier. This was a Dollar Tree kneel kneeling pad. And we have, let me cover this so I don't use this. We have Dollar Tree rope here that we're going to cut. So, and, and so it's just like dude, you got to take it apart. Aw, Dan, thank you. I don't think it's brilliant, but thank you for being so sweet. Bending them makes them look like, yeah, don't they? They are, I love that. I love that. And now they're going to stay like that. All right, so we're, this is the Dollar Tree rope that you get. We're just going to untwist it, and these are going to be our stems. You've seen me use these before for stems. All right, so we've got this one. We might, I think, let's see, we'll probably need one more. I know you're supposed to do flower like in threes, but I think we're going to be doing four. Okay, and we're we're going to have different um, lengths, so I'll have to trim down. Let's see. We're going to probably do a little short one here. You know what? Let's cut this one. Okay, so we got one here. We're going to have one here that's going to be a little shorter. Let's do this one out here. We're going to do, let's do a little a shorter one off of here. Can you see how I'm laying that on there? And then I think we're going to do, probably do a little one off of here. And we can trim these up after. So I want to lay it out first so that I can see what I'm going to do. So I think this one we're going to just put on the top here because this is like my cutest. Well, maybe not, but I like it. We'll see. Actually, you know what? This one I think is my favorite. Maybe we'll do that. So we'll have that one on there. Let's... Um, Let's do this one here. See what we're doing? Let's do this one here. And then maybe this one down here. Let's see that. Um, what we're also doing is well, let's add a little bit of burlap. You know what, the other thing too, this was a piece of fabric I had and I just cut it in a circle and then I rubbed my fingers on it to make it rough. I thought that would be really cute behind here too, just to add that little color. So I don't know if you can see that. And I had that cut out already. So now we're gonna do this burlap. Thank you, Diane. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple of these bows. Maybe, maybe we'll do three of them. Let's do three just in case. And I cut off the edges because we're going to really pull out the strings on this. We're going to wait with the bottom one because the bottom one will take maybe a little bit more. So let's cut the edges off. And then I'm just going to pull out these strings. Now I'm going to save one of these because we're going to tie this together with it. And I'm just pulling them out so that we have those long strings on there. And then we're going to put them together like in a little bowl. Actually, I think this will go long. Okay. Now I'm just going to use one of those strings and wrap it around and tie it up. Hi, Cheryl. Okay, 
So I'm going to put that one, and we'll put a button on here too, probably. And we're, so we're going to lay one on, one probably there. So again, I want to get it all laid up so you can see. Let me make this a little shorter too. Pull these strings. Okay. Hi, Vicky. And so we just got a little bit to do yet, and then we're going to just glue it all together. All right, so we got this one. I think we're going to put this one over here. And I do think we're, so we're, the other thing I have here, and I was debating on putting a little of this with it, but I might do this at the bottom with the burlap. That's why I was going to just wait. So let's do, we're going to do a little bit bigger bowl for the bottom. I want to get everything cut out now and ready so that we can just glue at the end and, and we're done. So um, I'm just going to cut this. I th we're, we might add a little bit of that fabric in. Thanks, Diane. I hope you all like it. Um, thank you for sticking on with me. I mean, I know I didn't get started till 9. I, I warned you it was going to be a little bit longer project. I'm itching from the jute again. <laughs> That's another thing, if you follow me, you know that I start itching really from it. All right, then we're going to have this, and I think we're going to take a little bit of this fabric. <laughs> I'm grabbing my tweezer. I'm going to find a straight edge here. We don't need a lot. I think we'll do one more. Yeah, I think the fabric will work with it, right? And we're just going to do it at the bottom. I was debating on putting it in between, but I think it'll work just at the bottom. And you could, like I said, I have that orange fabric back here. I could add a little touch of that in with this, but let's just see what it looks like like this. Actually, I think we can get away with just two. I don't think we even need need that one. Again, these are just scraps of the burlap that I pulled off to tie this with. It's nice and strong. Yep, homespun are my favorite fabrics. All right, we'll just play with that a little bit. It probably could have used that burlap a little bit different on there. But we'll lay that down on the bottom. It'll be something like that. All right, and then we have these leaves yet. Now, the other thing that I said you could do is take this stylus and also draw little lines on these petals too. And you could also use a little paint on them if you want. So I'm not going to do that on all of them, 
but yeah you could even just use a little highlighting paint if you want okay so I think we're good like that so um, I think we got a good layout here we're just going to try and put this all back together we're going to set this off to the side set that to the side this to the side and we're going to start gluing down some of this rope just a few places it doesn't have to be all the way along okay you just want it to be able to stick on there okay so this one We're going to have come up like that. If you have one of those spatulas, that would be a good time. And then this one we're going to cut off. Where I find my scissor. <laughs> oh, we'll use this one. Serious? I had it. All right, that worked. That's a Dollar Tree. I showed you this last week a little Dollar Tree scissor that I picked up. It works awesome. Okay. And then this one will be a little short one out over here. I know I used it on my fabric. Did you lay them in your material? You know, I don't know. I don't know it's okay this this honestly this little tiny thing worked good all right so this one was going here this one was going on here this one was going down here and this one was going there and this one's going to join on with this so I'm going to do that right away oh and I also have the leaves so um I'm just, I'm just going to have, I don't know that we need the leaves. You like it too, Kathy? Yeah, I love that scissor. What is the fabric? So this fabric, honestly, I just had this as a scrap and I just cut a circle out of it and then I scratched along the edges to make it rough. I just thought it would add a little bit of fun color and something different. Um, and I'm just going to lay it on there. So um, let me just see if we need the leaves. You know, that might add a pop of color. Let's glue this down. We can add the leaves after. Let's just glue it down. Because all I'm doing is going to glue in the one point at the at the top of each one or like in the center so we can always add the leaves no leaves yeah i'm always thinking no leaves thank you Teresa, for passing me on we'll see you know i almost wonder if i do the leaves in i don't really have another color that i feel would 
that great for them. I think my glue gun is just getting sick of this glue stick. Seriously, this glue stick I've had in all night when I was practicing with this, it's all the same glue stick. Thanks, Robin. Let's just see. Yep, maybe a couple at the bottom. That's a good idea. So let's just see. All right, so we got, we're going to put this one on here. really being difficult. Let's put a little on here. This one down. I think this burlap just adds a little cuteness to this too. Olive green more towards olive green. I know, and that's what if I had a different color, I would definitely do that. This I love this one. I I love all of them. I love all of them. Okay, let's put this one on. And we'll debate on the leaves then. This way I'll be able to hold it up to show you. All right, let's do... I'm not digging this bow I need. I think I need, I think I need another, oh, well, that's not too bad. I think I need to make it a little smaller. It'd be easier if I had my other scissor. think if I add a pop of this in that would be really cute too but we'll see <laughs> thanks Dana thank you Kim all right, so I think this button works in here. It's a nice big one. Um, it's the colors that I'm using on everything. And we'll hold it up and see if we need some green in it. I said if it was a different color green, I think I would be more likely that I would like it better. But, um, you know, that isn't the worst. Okay. What do you think of adding that green in there? I don't mind it. Yeah, I think that material, that would actually add. So what do you think of, do you think we need the leaves? I actually don't mind it. I think that moss green would be better. You know, let me try darkening them up just a little more. 
with that stain. I darkened them up a little bit. Let's just do a little bit more. Oh, my nose is really itching right now from this Jude and Burlap. Yeah, I do think I, I like the leaves. So, and it adds that little pop of color, but I, yeah, I agree. If we can tone it down a little more. I think, yeah, I'm just toning it down that little bit more. Why does it look bad at all with the darker would be better? Yeah, I think so too. I think that, I think we just need that darker. I mean, it doesn't look awful. That would be a disaster. And it soaks into that green. Um, I think that's why it looked pretty green again, because it soaks in. So I think this I think this will be perfect now. Thank you, Dana. All right, so I think we'll do, um, where did I have them? I think I had the one here. I had one over here, and then I had one down here. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Let's put it. If I can get my glue out of here. Itch, itch, itch from this. So from a Dollar Tree, I mean, honestly, this foam, I'm sure you can get a Dollar Tree. The roping was Dollar Tree. This kneeling pad was Dollar Tree. You, you can get buttons at Dollar Tree now, too. Oh, I got a couple little buttons I want to add in yet. So this is honestly almost all Dollar Tree. And I think it turned out pretty cute. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate it. I really, really love how it turned out. My glue gun, it just is not cooperating tonight. There we go. It's getting finicky with me for not using it much. Oh, gosh. All right, we need a couple little buttons yet for on these bows. Um, let's just do, we're going to do light colored yet because I've got light color throughout. Let me just try a little darker. You know what? Let's find something fun because this is... Okay, look at that one. Definitely. And let's do, this is just a fun one. You know what? Oh, this one is better. Okay, so we're going to take that. This one is better. Look at the black design on there. We're going to do that. And then I think we're going to do just a plain one. On here. I 
and we're done. We're done. Oh, Robin, thank you. Dee, thank you so much. I am in love with how this turned out. Let's get my little schnibbles out of here. What do you think? Didn't that turn out really, really cute? Look at those flowers. That one. And that one I think it turned out adorable just up on a shelf would be perfect you could also just take this rope otherwise string it through here and have that have that hanging like that too but I don't know that it would need that well that actually is sort of cute hanging up like that too you could hang it with that too so that that's an idea of how to hang it but I think just on a shelf it would just be really really cute so I'm glad you all stuck on with me this was a long one I warned you at the beginning though so should we do a random act of kindness out of a kneeler yep and I'm sure you can get this foam at Dollar Tree also this was Dollar Tree um, yeah I'm sure you can get the foam from there it's you know you can get buttons from there if you don't have the floral, floral foam and you still want to do this, use scrapbook paper or, or cardstock. That would work 